Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. In this video, we're heading out to a northeast Iowa field with a classic 1980s John Deere 780 Hydro Push spreader. This was the largest box manure spreader offered by the company through the mid-1980s and into the early 1990s. We're going to talk about this machine's history and specifications, but first, let's see and hear this machine go to work out on this Iowa dairy farm. John Deere first started offering manure spreaders in 1902 when the company partnered with Kemp and Burpee Manufacturing of Syracuse, New York to distribute their success spreader through the John Deere dealer network. In 1910, Deere and Company acquired Kemp and Burpee and began making the success spreader in their factory located in East Moline, Illinois. The success spreader was a horse-drawn model, and in 1918, when John Deere entered the tractor market, of course, tractor-drawn manure spreaders soon followed. By the close of the 1970s, the company was selling over 3,200 manure spreaders a year. The widespread manure spreader was invented by Joseph Oppenheim of Ohio in 1899. His design used a series of chains to unload a wagon box and a series of beaters to spread the manure onto the field. Prior to Oppenheim's design, farmers would have to manually load a wagon with manure using pitchforks and then use those same pitchforks to unload the manure at the field. Oppenheim's new idea saved a lot of time and labor on the farm. In fact, the new idea of manure spreader was so popular, it saw production for 100 years. Other manufacturers soon followed the new idea concept using chains and beaters to apply manure to fields, including John Deere. Over the next seven decades, this was a standard design for applying manure. Unfortunately, the chain design was susceptible to kinks and freeze-ups during winter application, which would leave farmers back with their pitchfork hand unloading the spreader so they could fix the problem. Two Minnesota dairy farmers found a way to eliminate troublesome conveyor chains. They developed a spreader that would push a load of manure out rather than pulling it out. The farmers developed a box spreader that used a movable panel operating over a plastic covered floor and sides to push manure out onto the field using a fiberglass reinforced plastic surface that was self-cleaning. John Deere adapted the Minnesota dairy farmers concept using a panel to push the manure out of the spreader and in 1980 introduced the first Hydro Push spreader, the Model 450, which was capable of carrying 250 bushels of manure. The Hydro Push design from John Deere is a self cleaning design using a moving panel and sliding floor team propelled by two piggyback cylinders. The sliding floor and moving panel move the manure back to the beater. When the sliding floor stops, the moving panel continues pushing manure until all of the load is distributed on the field. In 1984, John Deere introduced the larger tandem axle Model 780 featured in this video. This big spreader is capable of carrying 400 bushels of manure, 243 cubic feet at the struck level. Heaped with a single beater machine, it can carry 341 cubic feet. And with a double beater 780, a farmer can carry 446 cubic feet of manure out to the field to fertilize the land. The Model 780 Hydro Push Spreader was the largest box manure spreader available from John Deere during its production from 1984 through 1991. It is capable of carrying 11.3 tons of manure and will spread 16 feet per minute. The 780 Hydro Push Spreader can be operated using a tractor selective control valve, SEV. 
This allows unloading speeds that can be infinitely adjusted using the control valve. The spreader is directly plugged into the tractor's SEV, and then spreading patterns can be run evenly across the field at any speed selected by the tractor operator. The minimum tractor PTO horsepower requirement for a 780 Hydro Push spreader is 100. This machine is being powered by a 130 PTO horsepower John Deere 4440 tractor, which was the best selling in the John Deere Iron Horse series of tractors offered from 1978 through 1982. The 780 Hydro Push spreader was initially manufactured at John Deere's Welland Works in Ontario, Canada. The box was built from grade plywood and used heat bonded fiberglass reinforced with polyester resin and a slick gel coat surface. Manor spreader production shifted from John Deere's Welland Works in the late 1980s, with the models 350 and 550 chain drive spreaders being produced by Badger Northland in Wisconsin, and the models 450 and 780 Hydro Push spreaders being produced by McDon Industries in Winnipeg, Canada. McDon is best known for producing self-propelled swathers and draper heads for combines that are harvesting small grains and soybeans. The 780 Hydro Push spreader new from the factory weighed in at 4,430 pounds. And if you were looking to buy this machine new in the mid to late 1980s or early 1990s, you would expect to pay $10,270 at your local John Deere dealer. In late 1991, John Deere introduced the second generation of Hydro Push spreaders. The Model 455 and 785 is new for 1992. The company continued to manufacture its line of manure spreaders through the 1990s, but ultimately decided to cease production and sold off the Hydro Push spreader design to Pickwright, who continues to offer the design as the Hydro Ram spreader today and provides parts for classic models like the 780. John Deere does continue to offer a manure spreader line through its Frontier brand, which outsources production to H&S Manufacturing, which offers a hydraulic push series spreader similar in concept to the original Hydro Push. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about the John Deere 780 Hydro Push manure spreaders history and specifications and now we'll head back to the farm and field to see and hear this machine in action.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time on this Iowa dairy farm, seeing this classic 1980s John Deere manure spreader at work. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about this video, please leave them in the comment section below, as I try to answer every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.